Marcus Conti reporting. See those giant skyscrapers in the sky? Skyscrapers and everything. <laughs> Marcus Conti reporting from Central Park. Hey, good morning. So, ah, sitting here relaxing up in the park. That's a carousel over there. I'll show it to you in a second. But I want to talk about something. Uh, talk about Tulsi Gabbard getting getting uh, getting screwed by the DNC. What do you know? <laughs> as if it's if it's as if it's a surprise. Look at these rocks. See these rocks? I want to show you something. See these giant boulders? These giant uh, stones that pop up in Manhattan, right? It's done deliberately in Central Park to show you what's underneath the island. Because it's called Manhattan schist. <laughs> you got to be careful with that word. Schist, not shit. Schist. Right? Manhattan schist is a very old stone. I don't know what kind of fucking stone it is. Nobody knows what it is, but it's stone, right? And it's everywhere under the island. Actually, not everywhere under the island, but just under um, certain parts. Like if you look at the if you look at the skyline, you'll notice that downtown has a lot of schist under the ground, so they go right to the sky with the buildings, right? The buildings go right to the sky where the sh Manhattan schist. Without it, you can't you can't build skyscrapers because those buildings right there are, are embedded in in that in the rock. If you try to build a giant building a skyscraper like that with and go into dirt or sand that shit would fall over <laughs> no matter how far down you go eventually it would it would sink or, or 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 tilt but look at these buildings i mean just just give you an idea so so here in they I, they're just popping up everywhere right so up in up in central park area there is plenty of schist and the, you know, that's why you have a lot of high buildings. But down, like, in the village, uh, a little above down, downtown, of course. That's where, uh, you know, Freedom Tower is and all that. But um, down to, uh, it, right above that is the village. And you don't have much of it. So anyway, just a little educational. You see all the schist. Ah, Manhattan schist. Ah, so Tulsi Gabbard, what's going on? So they're giving her the shaft, right? Is this a good idea? Do you think it's a good idea for the Democrats to be shafting one of the most beloved candidate to come along in a long time? Now, again, I'm no big fan of Tulsi Gabbard. I love that. I love a lot of her her policy and all that. But the fact that she uh, believed George Bush, that she, you know, that 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 thing that disturbs me. That she believed George Bush about Iraq. And her, 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 the fact that she doesn't support the BDS movement, you know, for me, at two strikes. And also just, you know, the military stuff. But nonetheless, she is a, an amazing candidate who could become a cabinet member in, in a very progressive uh, uh, cabinet if Sanders wins. Right? Now, the other thing is, is that if you, look, they cheated in 2016. If they do it again, right? It's, you know, early, really early. Uh, it's it's pretty much game over. Want to see the carousel? So this is the old carousel. Michael Freisheim, 1951. This is when it was rebuilt. That's very iconic. The uh, And you can see they're all uh, old, wooden, hand-painted. They're actually very valuable. Right, aren't these uh, aren't these valuable of some sort? Then they try to auction them off like a hundred grand each or something. Hundred grand each. Hundred grand each. Yeah. Damn. There you go. Thanks, mate. <laughs> I knew that fact. So if you want to buy a horse, you want to buy a hand painted wooden horse from uh, Central Park, you can get it for a hundred grand, but they're not for sale. Uh, fucking rich people put that shit in their put that shit in their. Uh, <laughs> Put it in the living room so you could for the kid. Hey, you want to ride a pony? Ride a pony ride. So Tulsi Gabbard, right? Uh, beloved in the community, she's she had a uh, she had um, uh, the most Google most Google candidate on, on uh, uh, after that debate, uh, second largest following of any other candidate on Twitter. Right? So the DNC is screwing her in the polling. I told you the polling is rigged. Right? So 
So they're trying to control that shit, right? Control the rig, control the polling. How are they going to do it, right? So, um, so all you need is 2% of the vote. You need 2% uh, of the vote in the poll to qualify. You have to get four in four qualifying uh, four qualifying polls. You got to get 2%. Now, she, she's done it in non-qualifying polls. <laughs> They're moving the goalposts, right? They've actually declared that the Economist, one of the most, I mean, I think they're all rigged, but that's the one that they look at the most. The Oh, what the, econ the Economist? Oh, the Economist. Yeah, what did the Economist say? Right? And they, they, they call that one, Ah, uh, I'm in the tunnel of love. Loody, 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 do. Ah, yeah, 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 it's echo. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so, so anyway, the Economist, right? So, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm messing this up because it's a very important subject, right? Tulsi Gabbard is, is beloved, and they're sticking the knife in her back. They're calling the Economist um, the first, the first one, the first stab in the back, is that the DNC says, "quote The average, her average." Of 3.3 in, 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 I guess, the, uh, you know, the, the, the bulk of the polls. She's beating out Cory Booker, um, uh, Amy Klobuchar, Beto O'Rourke, and Andrew Yang. She's beating them, and all of those other guys already qualified. See how they're fucking her, right? The NC says, the average, her average is not sufficiently qualifying. <laughs> they're moving the goalposts, and they're cheating already, right? They're disenfranchising the 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 base, the the progressive base, right? Pissing them off, right? Screwing them again. Let's hear some more shit take. I mean, schist, <laughs> schist everywhere. <laughs> so, so two two percent and and 160 donors. You need 160 thousand donors in every state. Combined, you need donors in each state, total of 160,000 donors. Tulsi Gabbard has done that. So they move that goalpost too. They said, um, no, 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 they're going to prioritize polling over donors. <laughs> it just gets uglier and uglier, right? So they're going to pr prioritize polling over donors. They're not considering the economist a sponsoring organization and they're putting all the pay-for-play media as the as the uh, the uh, sponsoring organizations CNN CBS it's such a fucking rig man so so how's that gonna how's that gonna affect how's that gonna affect the election right they're rigging they're, they're, they're loading up the the front why they why are they attacking Tulsi Gabbard because she's She's she. If you put her on the stage with Sanders, it's very likely she's they're gonna work in tandem, right? Her she her her War, uh, Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders are gonna be like a tag tag team match. They're gonna take everybody out. <laughs> That's just a theory, but we already saw Bernie Sanders and um, Elizabeth Warren go back to back. Right? You got to get a progressive candidate in there. You got to get that's that's who the next president of the United States has to be. Sorry. It just is. This is the dairy, by the way. <sighs> it's an old dairy. It was actually a, ver a, 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 cow f a dairy for cows. <laughs> a real dairy. Uh, where people used to come and buy their milk. The rich people that lived around, the, um, around Central Park. There's a lot of homeless people in the park, too. You see them kind of like starting to wake up. You know? If you walk into the uh, quieter areas of the park, you see a lot of people sleeping. No shame in it. I mean, it's just I'm just pointing it out. So, congratulations, Democrats. Congratulations. Don't take it sitting down if you're a Tulsi Gabbard fan. Right? You should be you should be raging about this, right? Because they're rigging the prime. Even even if they're not going to give it to her, that you could tell already they're rigging the the polls are already rigged. And now, and they, they're manipulating the numbers. 
that's just the way it is, right? That's the times we live in right now. Everything's a fucking rig. Right? It's all rigged. I'll show you over here. You go up on this rock. It's a nice view over here. I think you see the ice skating rink from down here. Oh, yeah. Ah, there we go. There we go. Skyscrapers and everything. Those are some big buildings, right? That beautiful skyline, right? Mm. And now you know why they stand up so straight. Because they're they're grounded in schist. <laughs> the foundation is shit. Oh, there's a uh, Trump's ice skating rink. <laughs> Trump bought the ice skating rink. He controls it. But it's not an ice skating rink in the summertime. In the summertime, it's a uh, an amusement park. But that is uh, that is a uh, Trump. Trump Memorial Ice Skating Rink. It is open. It is. It has his name on the side of it, and he still he still runs it or owns it or whatever. I don't know what. But uh, anyway, so fight back, kids. You're getting screwed again. <laughs> if you like that idea, if you like the way you know the DNC, how you know DNC's dick feels in your ass, then just take it sitting down. Be diplomatic. Have a conversation about it with the DNC. They'll understand. Give talk to uh, uh, Tom Perez. He'll he'll straighten it out for you. <laughs> Political revolution is what we need, right? How do you wrestle power out of their hands? And you say, oh yeah, run just Bernie. You should have ran third party. Yeah, it's not that easy, right? Because if the Democrats control the booths control the gubernatorial seats, control the mayor seats, control all the boards of elections and the Republicans and the Democrats all control that stuff. Why? You think you think a third party is just going to sneak in there and they're not going to cheat? They're not going to cheat that cheat that candidate out of it. So Sanders has the right idea. You try to try to overthrow the Democrats, but they know it's coming, you know, and they're, they're doing everything they can to stop it. So Marcus Conte reporting from Central Park, New York.